The Lapworth players in Warwickshire tidying up after their Christmas show, a show staged with the help of cash from the Common Agricultural Policy, which paid for scenery and even a laptop for lighting. It's made a fantastic difference, fantastic difference. Um, we've used it in three productions so far, all the equipment. It's just meant that we've sort of moved on as well. We haven't been stuck with old lighting, old sound. You know, we, we've actually been able to um, make our productions better. The government's been shifting common agricultural policy cash away from farmers towards projects like this for a while now, and they want to do more of it. But the question is, how much extra cash should they take off the farmers and what kind of projects should they be spending it on? 9% of the CAP budget had been diverted away from farmers, but over Christmas the government increased this to 12%. And while this cash has been used to fund Warwickshire Amateur Dramatics, most of it is used for environmental schemes. More swans here, yes. And often schemes on farms like Georgina Aird's Shropshire Wetland. The money that we're getting for environmental schemes is absolutely crucial to what we're doing here. Um, and if the NFU position means that there's less money in that pot, then that is really going to have a serious negative impact on our farm business. The NFU accepts the importance of grants for environmental schemes, but worries that taking cash from farmers to fund them will cause problems. Given that we're competing in the European Union, in the same market, the fact that actually English farmers are receiving less on a per hectare basis than farmers in uh, France, Germany, Denmark, Ireland, the Netherlands, even in Scotland, well, that's, that creates some challenges when it comes to just how competitive we can be. As farmers face cuts, the CAP is a growing part of rural life.